Welcome everyone to today's bonus webinar, One and Done Posting with Hootsuite. Uh, this has been one of the most requested webinars, uh, especially webinar topics that I've had at socialmediaonlineclasses.com. A lot of people want to know how they can use Hootsuite to better manage their time, to do that one and done posting, and I will be covering that and more in today's webinar. It will be approximately one hour, maybe a little bit less, uh, but I will be answering questions as we go along. So please uh, ask questions as uh, I'm covering a particular topic. Don't feel like you have to wait until the very end. I want you to ask a question while it's fresh in your mind so that you don't forget it later. And don't feel like you have to take notes. Uh, I want you to sit back, relax, enjoy this, kind of focus on uh, learning the, the Hootsuite dashboard. And I will be offering a replay as well as that PDF transcript and an MP3 audio so that you can re-watch, re-listen to, or re-read uh, the webinar if you were here live, and if not, you can get the replay. Thank you for joining me. I'm Maria Piegler, founder of socialmediaonlineclasses.com. I am at SM underscore online class on Twitter, and the website is www.socialmediaonlineclasses.com. First of all, what is Hootsuite? Uh, Hootsuite is a tool that allows you to do posting to multiple social networks at the same time. That's really what it's well known for. And for a long time, it was the only tool that allowed you to schedule any kind of a post uh, on any social network. Now, many social networks offer that ability uh, Currently, that's that's a new feature that Facebook has, but for a long time, Hootsuite was the only tool that allowed you to schedule posts. Uh, this is what Hootsuite looks like. This is the Hootsuite dashboard, and we are live on uh, my Hootsuite account. And one of the reasons I got so many requests for this webinar is Hootsuite can be very confusing and frankly overwhelming. Uh, when you look at the dashboard, there's a lot of information coming at you at the same time. And so today's webinar, I'm going to break it all down. I'm going to make it very simple. I'm going to show you how you can filter those conversations so that the most important ones that you really need to stay on top of rise to the top and so you don't get bogged down in a lot of other less important conversations. So before we continue, what I'd like to do is to hear from everyone on our webinar live today. What is the number one thing that you want to get out of today's bonus webinar on Hootsuite? I, I will be covering how to do one and done posting, which is how you can post once and have it go to every social network. I'll be talking about the pros and cons of doing that and uh, some netiquette for kind of how to get around some of the Hootsuite limitations. Um, let's see, Mary Beth says uh, she wants to know how to have time to read something not related to work. <laughs> that, that definitely is a challenge and I will tell you Mary Beth that I do not keep Hootsuite up on my uh, open on my browser all the time uh, because if I did, I probably would not get any work done. Uh, I used to do that, uh, but I have uh, scheduled my day in very focused time slots, and when I need to get something done, uh, I I can't be on Hootsuite because it's too easy to get sucked into a lot of conversations that aren't really essential for me to be engaging in at the moment. So I'll definitely be looking at that. Uh, I'll also be talking about how you add social networks to Hootsuite, how you can kind of organize those conversations, 
uh, the uh, important things to know for each social network and its nuances within Hootsuite. Uh, Hootsuite works well with some social networks and not quite as well with others, and I'll talk about that as well. I'll talk about some different methods for posting your, uh, your tweets and your posts and your updates to different social networks. I'll talk about adding images how to schedule posts for later, how to search, and then lastly I'll talk about how to create a reputation monitoring dashboard, which really is a way of taking everything that I've taught you up until that point and really taking it one step further. So let's go ahead and get started. Hootsuite really, more than anything, is your virtual assistant, and that's what I love about it because you can post something one time and send it to multiple social networks. So rather than going into Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Google Plus separately to do the same post, you can simply go into Hootsuite, post it one time, and, and hit send, and it goes to all of them. And so it saves you a lot of time. You can also schedule posts for later, uh, and not all social networks have that ability, but within Hootsuite, you can do that. And so it gives you a lot of features that you wouldn't necessarily have uh, natively in each social network. So where do I start? When I want to get started with Hootsuite, where do I start? Well, let's take a look first at the Hootsuite screen. And I'm going to kind of go over all the different features of this screen and what each area is and what it does. The, probably the most important part of the Hootsuite screen is right here and this is called your dashboard and you'll see here I have different columns and each column is showing me a different conversation from a social network. And so right here I've named this column uh, at SM online class. That is my Twitter name. And so these are actually Twitter conversations going on right now. My home feed is everyone that I've followed on Twitter. Mentions is anytime I am mentioned in a tweet, I can see that immediately on Hootsuite. This is an excellent way for me to stay on top of a conversation and not let communication go because people's, uh, one of their biggest complaints of consumers when it comes to social media or large companies is, you know, I reached out to you and I never heard from you. So that doesn't happen if you're using Hootsuite. You're staying on top of those conversations. I can see individual con tweets that I have sent uh, either within or outside of Hootsuite. If I do it directly in Twitter, it'll show up here as well. And I have some other conversations going on here too. These are direct messages that I have sent and received within Hootsuite and those are uh, private tw tweets that only uh, the recipient and I would see and then I've got some searches uh, for different topics so you can see here that there's a lot going on just in this one tab and I have several tabs here so I have several dashboards going on at the same time uh, the other thing that you'll see on the screen is right here at the top it says compose message. This is actually where you will write your tweet, your post, or your update. You will write it in this area and then if you need to add a link or schedule it for later or attach something you'll do that here. Over here is the profile area. Once you've written your post you can decide which social network you want to send it to whether it be Twitter your Facebook page, LinkedIn, or even Google Plus, so you can do that here. And Twitter also has, excuse me, Hootsuite also has a search capability. So you can search Twitter for a particular hashtag or uh, a keyword or a, a brand or a person. And then over here on the left are the different areas of the Hootsuite screen. Now there's a lot here and I'm not going to go over most of it. The big things that we'll be focusing on are these top two uh, because that, that would require about a week-long class 
and I am going to focus on just those things that are going to be absolutely important for you to know to do that one and done posting and to create that reputation dashboard. So that in a nutshell is the Hootsuite screen and you'll see me use that as we go along throughout the webinar. All right, the first thing that you're going to do when you start with Hootsuite is you need to tell it what social networks that you want to work with. So if you have a Facebook page or even more than one, if you have a Twitter account, if you have a LinkedIn profile and a Google Plus account, you can add all those to Hootsuite. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. I am going to go to Hootsuite. And the place where you do that is over here at the top left where the little Hootsuite owl is. You're going to click on your name. And right here it's going to show you my social networks. And you can see here I've got Twitter. I have uh, a Facebook page for a book that I've written. I've got my LinkedIn profile and I also have my social media online classes Facebook page. Well, I'm going to add a new social network and that is right here by clicking on that and here it will show you the different social networks that you can add. You can use Twitter, Facebook, Google+, LinkedIn, uh, Foursquare. WordPress is only the WordPress.com, not, WordPre not the self-hosted WordPress.org, uh, MySpace, and Mixie. Uh, I'm going to be adding my Google Plus account, so I'm going to click on Google Plus and tell it to connect and no matter what social network you use you're going to have to give Hootsuite permission to access it and so I'm gonna say yes I want it to allow that access and Hootsuite is smart enough to see that I have more than one Google Plus page and this is important here because this is a distinction in Google Plus it is going to add your pages not your personal profile so right here I'm going to add my social media online classes business page and I've got the green check mark here and I finished importing and it shows up right here and let's see we have a question coming in uh, do we download Hootsuite or purchase it somewhere well you can uh, go to uh, Hootsuite.com and you can download Hootsuite for free. Uh, the, the account that I have right here is a free account and I believe that Hootsuite allows you to have up to five social network profiles on a free account. If you want any more than that then you need LinkedIn Premium. Um, but for most people on this webinar the, linked, the Hootsuite free account will be more than enough. So here I've got my Google Plus page listed and I can go back to my home page which Hootsuite calls streams. And let's see, I have a follow-up question. Did I understand that it only connects to the free WordPress and not the WordPress you host yourself? Yes, Mary Beth, that is correct. Uh, you cannot use Hootsuite with your uh, self-hosted WordPress blog. Uh, for example, my website is a, I have a blog uh, using WordPress and I cannot uh, integrate that into Hootsuite. But in all honesty, I don't think that would work very well anyway because Hootsuite specializes in very short social network updates, not really in a long blog post. So what I will do is when I've got a new uh, blog post, I will go into Hootsuite and link to it. I'll tell everyone on my social networks that I have a, a brand new blog post out there. So fantastic. Great, Mary Beth. I'm glad I answered your question. Okay, so once I have added my social networks, I am ready to go in Hootsuite. So I've added my Google Plus page. And the next thing that I could start doing in Hootsuite is organizing my conversations. And that's really what Hootsuite is all about. It's organizing those important conversations that you want to stay on top of so that it's easy to respond, to engage, and to react. 
to what's going on in your business and in your industry. And you can do this in several ways, but you're always going to start out with something called a tab. We're going to add a tab in Hootsuite, and that will give us a blank dashboard. And then we can add uh, streams from our social networks, we can add events, and we can even do searches. And so I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Oh. 